I come here today to talk about how I feel. And I feel I don't like how we're treated. And just because of our color doesn't mean anything to me. I believe that. You're doing great. You're doing, you're doing a great job. We are black people and we shouldn't have to feel like this. We shouldn't have to protest because y'all are treating us wrong. We do this because we need to and have rights. Let, let, her, let her talk. Go ahead. I've been born and raised in Charlie. And I never felt this way till now. And I can't stand how we're treated. And it's a shame listen. that our fathers and mothers are killed and we can't even see them anymore. That's right. It's a shame that we have to go to that graveyard and bury them. And we have tears and we shouldn't have tears. We need our fathers and mothers to be by our side. And let me tell you right up front, any of you young people, you want to marry a black man, you girls, don't ask me to do it, because I will not. I refuse. I cannot do it with a conscience toward God and look these quotes in the face. You white brothers, you find a black sister, you want to marry an African or whatever more, don't ask Brother Donnie, I'll, I'll quit your suit yourself. I'd rather you quit than me get in trouble with God. Well, glory. What did it feel like to you? Um, surprising, no. Um, because I understand, I still understand how race plays a huge part in America. Because no matter how, no matter how much money you got, no matter how famous you are, no matter how many people admire you, at the end of the day, being a black man in America is uh, is very frightening, and it lets us know that we got so much farther, so much further to go to be equal in this in this country. Mr. President, did you any memo? But then he spotted a white journalist in the throngs of those wanting the perfect soundbite. A dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. The race has been used as the main parameter to segregate and separate the human kinds since during different civilization eras. In the near past, the race was used as the main justification for arable action such as slavery, apartheid, colonialism, etc. Nowadays, 
the race you show is used to judge and discriminate people, nation, religions, etc. But the question is, does it even exist? Do we really have different type of race? It's just a matter of religion and cultural belief. Well, according to the science point of view, we just have one race, the human race. The only thing that makes us differ one from others is the skin tone or simply the color of our skin. Well, from that fact, another interesting question can arise. When and how a black African who is considered to be the ancestor of the humanity went from this to this and then on to this. Ladies and gentlemen, today we are analyzing the reason behind the different type of color in the human race. Or if you want to say the different skin tone in the human race. My name is Edmundson Figueiredo de Bruno and you're watching Life and Facts. After so many years of research, scientists have come to realize that the variation in the skin tone in the human race is a result to adaptation traits such as geography location and exposure to ultraviolet rays. See, a person's skin color is determined principally by the amount of melanin. I know you might be wondering now, what is melanin? Melanin. The type and amount of melanin in your skin determines whether you'll be more or less protected from the sun. This comes down to the skin's response as sunlight strikes it. When it's exposed to UV light, that triggers special light-sensitive receptors called rhodopsin, which stimulate the production of melanin to shield cells from damage. For light-skinned people, that extra melanin darkens their skin and produces a tan. Over the course of generations, humans living at the sun-saturated latitudes in Africa adapted to have a higher melanin production threshold and more eumelanin, giving skin a darker tone. This built-in sun shield helped protect them from melanoma, likely making them evolutionarily fitter and capable of passing this useful trait onto new generations. But soon, some of our sun-adapted ancestors migrated northward out of the tropical zone, spreading far and wide across the Earth. The further north they traveled, the less direct sunshine they saw. This was a problem, because although UV light can damage skin, it also has an important parallel benefit. UV helps our bodies produce vitamin D, an ingredient that strengthens bones and lets us absorb vital minerals like calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphate, and zinc. Without it, humans experience serious fatigue and weakened bones that can cause a condition known as rickets. For humans whose dark skin effectively blocked whatever sunlight there was, vitamin D deficiency would have posed a serious threat in the north. But some of them happened to produce less melanin. They were exposed to small enough amounts of light that melanoma was less likely, and their lighter skin better absorbed the UV light. So they benefited from vitamin D, developed strong bones, and survived well enough to produce healthy offspring. Over many generations of selection, skin color in those regions gradually lightened. As a result of our ancestors' adaptability, today the planet is full of people with a vast palette of skin colors. Typically, darker eumelanin-rich skin in the hot, sunny band around the equator and increasingly lighter pheomelanin-rich skin shades fanning outwards as the sunshine dwindles. Therefore, skin color is little more than an adaptive trait for living on a rock that orbits the sun. It may absorb light, but it certainly does not reflect character.
So, after we analyzed all the points and scientifically justified the reason behind of the different skin tones, we conclude that when our parents migrated 50,000 years ago, not from Africa to Asia, Europe, America, etc., due to their migration, they located themselves in different areas. And because the climatic conditions, the geographic condition, and the exposure to ultraviolet rays in those regions were different from the tropical areas, they are had to adjust to different conditions. That implied to reduce or increase the production of the melanin. And since we know that the melanin is the principal factor for the color of the skin, the ending having people from different areas with different colors because the, the exposure to ultraviolet rays it was also different. After so many generations, after so many thousand years, those switches were passed from the parents to their children. And later on, we have established continents with a specific characteristics as a result of an evolutionary process. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the scientific reason behind the different skin tones in the universe. I'm not done yet. Now, I'm telling you what I think socially regarding this matter. It's something that I don't usually talk about because I'm afraid that I'm making people uncomfortable. It's something that affects me in almost every aspect of life. From what I've seen growing up, dark skin equates to being poor, dirty, ratchet. They tend to be the bad guys in Tyler Perry movies. See, when it comes to social and cultural beliefs, there are a lot of justification used to separate people because of their race or skin color. I really feel sad and ashamed when I see nationals quotating people based on their colors. We have religions which discriminate people just because of their colors or their skin tone, if you prefer. I not take this issue so seriously, but if you see to analyze the huge impact that a race discrimination has made to the story of the humanity, is a case for us to stop underestimating this issue. And in my point of view, it all starts from you and from me. When you see someone with a different skin tone, you don't see someone who is inferior or someone who is superior. Remember that we are all from the same day cement. Doesn't matter if he's black, he's white, he's Asian, we all came from the same ancestor. The only thing that made us different is the adaptation to different areas, just because our parents chose a different places to stay. Does it even make a reason to us to discriminate ourselves? How many wars? How many rejections? How many slavery situations we have seen in the world do to this small issue? It was supposed to be small because it's just the tone or the color of the skin. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video was scientifically useful for you but also brought you to analyze what are we doing? How are we addressing this matter? Are we really taking it serious? From today, I would like to invite you to see everyone. Doesn't matter if he's white, he's black, he's Asian. First, as a human being. After that boundary of human being, that equality of human being is not boundary, sorry, can come our difference, our religion's difference. And for those who are religious, 
don't use the religion to try to justify horrible things. <laughs>